Breathlessness is a major problem for people affected by cancer. As a result of the disease itself, as a result of comorbidities, many people with lung cancer will have chronic obstructive pulmonary disease as well. Uh, as a result of uh, uh, just getting weak from cachexia, all of these things can have an impact. What we need to do is, is look at a stepwise progression, ensure we have treated the treatable, then move to non-pharmacological support and finally, uh, for many people, benefit from low-dose regular extended release morphine. We need to be far more proactive about understanding the impact of chronic breathlessness on people with cancer. It is incredibly debilitating, it leads to a spiral of further deconditioning and we need to reverse that early in the course of uh, cancer treatment and whenever we recognise it uh, in patients uh, because of the disease they have. The symposium has highlighted the fact that we need to reverse reversible causes and that may seem very straightforward but we assume that everyone else has done it because it is so straightforward and yet the data would suggest strongly that that's not the case. At the same time, we need to think about uh, the impact that breathlessness has on people, the social isolation that it causes for many people. They describe a social death uh, because of their breathlessness. Uh, the physical constraints put on people by breathlessness, uh, the challenges with uh, the activities of daily living. We need to work with physiotherapists, with occupational therapists, uh, in order to overcome some of those issues. And if people still have breathlessness, look at pharmacological interventions such as regular low-dose extended release morphine.